this segment, I'm going to walk you through how I developed a custom menu for PSPWN, and it could be used in any window menu. Now, I'll start by showing you how I parsed the menu configuration all the way to executing applications seamlessly. Now, I know that sounds kind of nerdy. The one thing I haven't told you is I need some more coffee, please. So, why do this? If I were to use a tiling window manager such as PSPWN or PWN, well, I think it's because sometimes you just want to chill and sometimes you don't care about shortcuts and efficiency. You just want to watch YouTube or a movie or listen to tunes while you read. Whatever it is, I got you covered. This said, this is only a temporary situation because I'm going to be looking at the source code in B menu. I'm going to try to make a better menu that can be used in any menu. Now, before I show you my menu, I also want to show you some things that I've done in Python 2 because customizing Linux desktops is the new cool thing to do. It's not rocket science, but hey, really nothing is rocket science except, well, rocket science. So let's get into it. Dozen 2 is a lightweight, highly customizable status bar for X. And it's perfect for creating custom menus that can enhance your workflow. Let me show you what I've done. As you can see here, I've created several dozen two menus. Each menu serves a specific purpose. Duh. For instance, I have a menu for launching my PDF and man features, and one for accessing my dot files and dash script. These menus are not just static displays, they are interactive and clickable, making it super easy to navigate through different options. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of the code behind these menus. These are the scripts I've used to create these menus. I've used a combination of shell scripting and dozen twos built-in functionality. For example, this script here is for launching my PDF files and man features dynamically. The other script opens my dot files and bash script with NeoGIF. Now, how awesome is that? Would you think about buying me a cup of coffee, please? You might not be aware of this, but the one cool thing about Dozen 2 is its flexibility. You can customize everything from the font to the colors and even geometry of the window. This allows for a lot of creativity and personalization. Next, let's talk about the color scheme. I've always been a fan of the solarized color palette, but I recently discovered the Osaka variant, and I decided to implement it into my setup. It's inspired by the Solarized Osaka NVIM theme by Deva's Life, and I'll leave a, a link to it in the section below. But I think it looks fantastic. Here's how my desktop looks with the new Solarized Osaka color scheme. I've applied it across my entire setup, including my terminal and my dozen two bar. I plan on including it into my window borders as well. To achieve this look, I've made some changes to my panel colors configuration file. Let me show you the details. As you can see, the panel color script, I've mapped these colors to different elements of my dozen two bar. This consistency creates a cohesive and visually appealing setup. You wouldn't think it would be anything different, would you? Last but not least, I want to show you my new BSPWM mini bar. It's designed to look and function like a traditional menu bar in BSPWN. Here, I have a clickable menu icon that opens our B menu, that is, Rofi B menu. This is a menu that I made. So initially, the menu structure is defined in the menu.xcd located in the open box configuration. Now, that's usually in the .config slash open box to translate this into a YAML format that's easier to work with, I use the XML to YAML.py script that I wrote. This Python script found in the BSP panel menu converts the XML based menu definition into a menu.yaml file. Now, here's an example of some of the logic inside of my submenu.py file and how that actually writes from the menu yaml to the submenu yaml file now comes the easiest part of all the dynamic menu display once submenu.yaml is generated i employ art b menu to format and display menu content the script integrates rofi and b menu offering 
a visually pleasing and functional interface for launching applications. Now, this is just a snippet of how you can actually launch Mini from inside Rofi. So here I had to implement a little bit of error handling on my part. For instance, selecting GNU Image Manipulation Program triggers the GIMP application, ensuring seamless workflow management directly from the menu. ESP integration? Well, to streamline access, I've cons configured this menu to launch via keyboard shortcut defined in my simple hotkey daemon RC file, ensuring quick access to applications categorized by function. Now that I've made this temporary menu, I have a better idea of how a menu is made, and I plan on making my own menu based on what I've learned. The only thing is, it will take me a while to build. It took me about three hours to build this one. I expect the other one, it might take me, I don't know, a week, a couple of days, I don't know. But I plan on making a new menu that I can actually use in any filing window manager. What do you think of my work? I think you would agree that it's for smart people, right? Now, if you haven't subscribed or bought me a cup of coffee, well, I guess you're not exactly bright, are you? Because smart people would have subscribed and bought me a cup of Java a long time ago. You know what to do. Feel free to ask some questions. Happy ricing, nerds.